So, why don't we start off with what your book is all about? It's a dual biography. It's, uh, it's the story of two men who lived a thousand years ago, and so the argument of the book is these were the most prodigiously intelligent, innovative thinkers between the time of the ancient Greeks and the Renaissance. Uh, one of them was named Biruni, the other was named Ibn Sina. Ibn Sina is vaguely known in the West as Avicenna. Now, these, these were absolute first-class geniuses. Uh, they, they uh, just to summarize some of the things they achieved, uh, Avicenna basically codified and created the field of medicine uh, that as it was practiced from his time, 1000 AD, down to the 17th century in Europe, in the Middle East, and all the way clear to India. Uh, he wrote six huge, five huge volumes on, on medicine that summarized everything known and put it all into a very accessible order. But beyond that, Ibn Sina also was a great theologian and metaphysician, and his writings on those subjects were so enduring and so important that much later, Thomas Aquinas, St. Thomas Aquinas, absolutely borrowed from, from, from this Muslim writer uh, to when he wrote his great Summa of All Knowledge. So that's Ibn Sina. On the other hand, you have Biruni. Biruni, think of this. He measured the diameter of the earth more accurately than anyone down to the 17th century. And he did it with simple equipment that you or I could make in an afternoon. The mathematics of it was anything but simple, but he did. He also, he also predicted that there were be discovered new continents out in the world sea, in other words, the unknown half of the world, uh, that these continents would be inhabited. So he, and to, he, he basically foretold the discovery of, of both North and South America as inhabited continents. He did this on the basis of his very, very analytic studies, heavily laced with mathematics. Uh, and he did it. He did it without ever having seen an ocean himself. Uh, beyond that, he did so many other things. He, he basically invented the field of uh, of modern anthropology and cultural anthropology. He also created the world's first world clock, because up to that time, in calendar, uh, everyone opera, every culture operated on its own system. He went to the bottom of each each calendar system figured out what the astronomy was that East, each was based upon and came up with his own system so that for the first time there was world history. This is what these, the sort of thing these two guys did. Now, why write their biographies together? That was going to be my well, next question. <laughs> your next question? It should be. And very simply, because they knew each other, they were it turns out exact contemporaries, they knew each other, and they detested each other. So, so here you have two mega geniuses who, who absolutely fundamentally disagreed, and they were being of the same age and, and both very ambitious males, they, they really duked it out com in competition. Now, that is a reason to study them together because fundamentally their disagreement was not just that they were two guys who discovered each other when they were both in their 20s and discovered that they really didn't like each other. No, much more important was the fact that for Biruni, the only way to prove big statements about the world, about the universe, was with math mathematics. Whereas Ibn Sina said, nope, the only way to establish truth is through the use of logic 
and syllogisms. Totally different approach to what is true.